How is everyone doing today? Have you guys uh, saw what's coming? Are you all hyped about the new events and the collaboration that is about to drop? Uh, a huge um, shout out to last Claudia live stream, right? Kit and uh, who's uh, Lemmy? Yes, that's right. They did a great show. On the uh, what do you call? What was his name? Divine doing. Right, uh, I'm seeing somebody that is only oh, you know, only it's two weeks. I see, I see. Okay, that's kind of short though. Okay, guys. All right, so we are done on this. Definitely. Uh so we're gonna have um, the collaboration units. I will be going through a little bit about their skills. Okay. So you can see it's S1. Okay, it's S1 is a forward wave. You know that he has his rocks coming up. You know along the along the path. He is by the way an earth elemental unit. And uh, look at the damage, thousand three. Okay, anyways, full metal alchemist. We can see full metal alchemist as the as the passive. So I wonder what this passive is. We thought we were gonna have a read about that. So it's a uh, Forward wave. Okay, S2. S2 is pretty wow, it, it has a very, very high knockup. And uh, this will probably be very good for like skills like uh Skylord and uh you know the the sky skills, right? So this one actually um knocks up a really really high knocks up the enemies really really high. Okay, this is S2, very nice. Very nice. keeps keeps his the uh, keeps him alive and keeps his uh, units uh, away from him in some sense because he can do this and he can run, right? So it's actually pretty pretty safe. He can keep units uh, CC in some sense. So S three, you have gone too far. Okay, okay. So he he fires his um, machine guns in that sense. Okay. Ultimate here. Okay, his ultimate is a pretty long animation. Okay. Pretty nice animation for his ultimate. Alright, so we, we saw the ultimate over there. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking that the ultimate might be a single target skill. So, um, don't really like single target skills. But then again, it might do some debuffs nope. or something like that. So we gotta have to see about that, right? So first trade, full metal alchemy. So what we saw earlier was actually his uh, first trade skill and special damage plus forty percent. That's a pretty high number. Special damage cap plus five thousand. Okay, when using a skill with alchemy, damage plus twenty percent. Damage cap plus two thousand. We're gonna move on first, right? Auto mail. Machine equip critical rate plus five percent, physical attack damage cap plus five thousand. So increase movement speed, uh, chance to nullify damage taken. So when he equips a machine, which means that he has to equip a machine, um, crit rate plus five percent, physical damage plus five thousand. He definitely has to equip a machine. Uh, increase movement speed and chance to nullify damage taken. Okay, I mean the last part is is chance. I don't really like this chance. Um, not that very not that significant usually. So you can see that it's a 5,000 damage cap so far on him uh, and 2,000 damage cap when he has uh, using a skill with alchemy. So we're going to see how alchemy actually procs. Alright, so skill 1 we can see from here, okay, uh, skill 1 is just a combo attack, target medium area, no chance to make enemies faint, excluding bosses. So it's, um, it's a fainting mechanic, alright. Will, will not really work in arena because of SM Terrier, but then again, you have gone too far. Okay, not no. Wow, no. Don't you call me little. But then again, it's a single target. <laughs> and it doesn't do anything else. So, okay. I, I guess I might have to call him little when he drops. Okay. So, alchemy. So, there, there, there we go. 
uh, when the skill stock is zero, it consumes MP to use the skill. So this is the reason what we are looking at. So it means in some sense that you will want to be spamming his S1 and uh, you can even spam his S1 when he doesn't have any stocks. Okay, and you will be using MP instead of um, SCT. Not sure how much SNP consumes MP differs based on the skills SCT. So basically for him, right, he is a unit that doesn't rely on, SC, on, on skill stocks in some sense. You can actually just focus on having a huge MP pool and having ways for him to regen MP and he will be able to use MP to convert them into SCT. So I'm not sure what is the conversion rate over here. If it's a 1 is to 1, which can be, uh, I feel that 1 is to 1 is a good number because for S2, which is usually 20 or above S, uh, SCT, he might cost him 20 and above SCT. Let's see, let's say if it's a 20 SCT skill, it costs 20 MP. Sounds about right because he is not a mage, so he's not gonna be having like high or huge amounts of MP pool. So uh, 20 MP feels about right for um, to use a skill, to use a S2, right? So in that sense, uh, when he does that, he actually gets uh, the buff earlier, right? Which is uh, 2,000... Which is 20% uh, more damage and also a damage cap of 2,000. So if that's all in all added together, it's a 7,000 damage cap at this point. Okay, so let's move on to me melee, me melee Master. So better start, recover 10 SCT. Chance to counter when taking physical damage. Counter power plus 50%. So it's like a Dora. I'm not sure. Um, I, I'm not sure. I, I don't really like counter mechanics. Like it's nowhere. It's nowhere near any good so far. So I'm. I don't. I'm not a fan. Uh, special shield. So special damage from enemies minus 10%. So special damage. I would. I would guess is only like really ultimates from enemies so uh in arena wait special damage maybe in tower you know people use like other units that use uses their ultimates special damage i'm not sure whether you know like uh monster bosses actually have a special in that sense so i'm not um 100 down on that no way is 1 is to 1. Wait, no way is 1 is to 1. Why not? It is too much. Is it too much? Well, it feels too much. But then again, if it's not 1 is to 1, it's, it's crazy, bro. Can you imagine it's not 1 is to 1? Like, like, okay. Okay. Let's see, right? Using let's let's just give a ballpark number of three S one, three S two, and three S threes to to clear away, for example. So S one is ten SET, S two is twenty SET, S three is thirty SET, right? So given that it's three 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 is thirty plus sixty, which is ninety. Uh, three S threes is actually ninety, so it's hundred and eighty SET uh, MP. 180 MP. It is feels a bit high, but then again, you think about it, right? It's equivalent to like close to a max stock uh, situation. And usually, Honey Elixir costs 200 MP. Honey Elixir costing 200 MP allows all your stocks to refresh, right? So that is, in some sense, I feel about there. That hair though, the emo face was never a face. What's up, Jawline Kun? The chat master. What's up, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Says, uh, who, who is that? Uh, Jawline, Jawline Kun. Line That's a great Jawline username. <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah. real chat name. You will want to be using Al Alchemy as his sort of his mechanic. So, in some sense, I would feel that. You wouldn't want him to have basic stocks. You will want his basic stocks to actually be used up quickly so that you can use his MP stocks. Because MP stocks is where the money is at. Is 1 is to 1? 
Okay, okay. I, I got a supporter here. Yeah, so I'm guessing, I'm also guessing as it's a 1 is to 1. Yeah, exactly. 30 SCT equals 30 MP. Uh, that's what I'm guessing. Yeah, that, that is the same thing that I'm guessing. Because like I said earlier, um, given given how much SCT uh, Honey Elixir can give, 200 MP, like that's one aspect of why I came to that conclusion. So 200 MP to fully re recharge stocks of a normal unit who has like two stocks of S2, sorry, two stocks of S3, three stocks of S2, and four or five stocks of S1. So basically it adds up to about 200 200 M, uh, SCT in some sense. So 2, two S3 is, for, for example, if it's 30, it's 60. Uh, 3 S2 is 60, so it's 120. And 5 S1 is 50, so it's 170, right? So it's about there. Of course, of course there are other units that have uh, more expensive S3 or more expensive S2 or whatever that it is. But mind you, Ed has that MP cost reduction from Elk. Wait, MP cost reduction? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. We are not done, right? We are at special skill, special shield. Okay, special shield. I don't know about this. I I don't know what I feel about this skill because special damage feels like. Wait, why am I looking at? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong unit, bro. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We are supposed to be looking at him first. I I kept thinking that this is that word, bro. Okay, so wrong unit. Wrong unit. Right, right. So, uh, cancel, cancel command. So first up, we have alchemy also. Okay, which is the same thing. Now, Winry's maintenance. When HP hits zero, auto revive and recover hundred percent MP and twenty. Wait, hundred percent HP and twenty percent MP. Which is a very very nice skill. Uh, very very nice decoy over there. State Alchemist, MP consumed by Alchemy minus 20%. Okay, this is the one that um, John, a uh, chat line, chat Lina was talking about. So it's a minus 20% MP consumed. So, what does it mean? S3, let's say it's a 30 SCT skill, it will take 30 MP, but because of this minus 20%, it's gonna minus off 6 MP. Okay, so it's only going to be costing 24 MP. Very, very nice. I would feel that that is a very, very nice um, situation. Okay, so you're outclassed. By the way, there's also one of the stamps available uh, for multiplayer. Damage plus 20%. Damage cap plus 2,000 to boss monsters. Okay, so basically, I think both the damage and the damage cap only applies to boss monsters. So it's very specifically uh, a boss fighter in that sense. All is one. One is me. Um, while all allies are alive, gradually boost STR. Max 30%. Resets each wave when an ally is incapacitated. Okay, so basically, if all his allies are alive... He will be gradually, gradually getting uh, SCR buff. His SCR will gradually increase. I'm guessing it probably will be 40 seconds for him to reach a uh, max of 30%. But then again, we will definitely have to wait till he's out to actually know the, the duration. But at this, at this point of time, uh, this is a pretty decent skill, I would say. 30% uh, SCR, you know, off, off the... Uh, any other, I mean, stackable SCR is always, always going to be a very good thing. Alright, so soul compensation. Consume units HP to revive an incapacitated ally and apply a SCR defense MND in th plus 35% buff. Recovers 100% HP. Once per quest. Wow, this is actually a very, very nice skill. Consume units HP to revive an incapacitated ally and apply. Wow, I can I can already see how how good this is as arena offense team, right? In the offense wise, if your unit dies, revive your unit, and then you know get get a crazy buff. Imagine your Luxeus died, right? Your Luxeus already has a plus seventy five percent. Uh, to all stats and then reviving your Luxeus is gonna get him to a hundred percent increase 
Imagine if also he has a nether world. What's that skill? Nether world something. Okay, that. Okay, never mind. Okay, never mind. That's very very niche. But then again, um, a very good skill. I feel uh, depends on how much HP is actually taken away from him. Uh, it might be about fifty percent. I'm guessing it might be fifty percent taken away from him. But it's definitely worth it, though. I I feel that it's, it would be fifty percent of current HP, so it doesn't kill him. Uh, and and that would be what I'm guessing, which is a very very good, uh, re studio revive. Okay, so machine mega boost, so machine equip, physical damage plus 20%, physical damage cap plus 2000, so he already has this additional uh, damage cap increase, another 2000, so he's going to bring it to 9000 if he's using alchemy. When physically attacking, lower enemy defense minus 10% and then deal damage. Wait, it's not a chance to lower physical When well, it's not a chance to lower enemy defense, it... it it says here, lower enemy defense. So, unless they missed out the chance, if not, it will mean that it's a 100% chance that you will minus 10% defense from the enemy, which is very, very awesome. So far, we don't really, we don't usually have stuff like that that guarantees damage reduction. Ban it! Wait, come on. It's, it's a poor dude trying to... Okay, never mind. Yep, it's done. It's done. We we slayed we we slayed it. All right. So um, it lowers enemy defense by ten percent and then deals damage, which is very nice. It means that all his skills are gonna be doing this minus ten percent defense, which is which is which is crazy. Which is pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy, right? Physical damage plus damage cap plus um, defense reduction. So yeah, really really nice. Uh, portal of truth. Continuous haste and advanced magic circles effect. So this is something that that is gonna make him wow. It's gonna make him like having MP regen and at the same time uh, SCT regen. So basically, he can keep uh casting his skills, uh maintaining his skills. So so comparatively to normal units that only use SCT as a form of uh, skill spam. He is also being able to use MP as skill spam. So having these two buffs to him, in some sense, is going to make him like a real spammer. So, you know, probably if you don't use like tricks like uh, Honey Elixir or Wind Reese Apple Pie, then he is probably going to be your best uh, as he, a skill spammer in the game. Alright, if you are not going to use those usual uh, cheesy mechanics. Ed is nice, L is lackluster in my opinion. Well, we can't really, well... Okay, so he's gonna also gonna be having Fury, Post of Honor, Rapid Recovery, Crit up 2, Prop Force, Double Impact, Attack up, uh, Fighting Spirit 3, Sky High 2, Auto Brave, Auto Protection, Earth High Drive, Indomitable Spirit, okay. Advanced in Vitals, Giant Killing, Okay, he, he has a pretty decent, I wouldn't say like OP, but pretty decent, um, what do you call, base passives. Okay, from here, I would say that he's missing some skills, but then again, some skills might actually hurt him. For example, sharp eyes. Would you want to put sharp eyes on him, firstly? Dual wheel is 14 SC, is costly. And is he he you probably want um uh you if you want more earth damage on him because he only has earth high drive as a sort of the earth damage and also earth attack race two right earth, earth critical race of course so you 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 have earth attack race one right to possible to be putting on him sky highs and sky lord potentially on him you have all the attack ups uh the crit ups are also not there so sharp eyes is actually one of the most crucial question that i have whether you will want sharp i mean 
technically speaking, to buff uh, any physical damage unit, Sharp Eyes is one of the best buffs. And of course, he doesn't have any Slayers, right? So, in some sense, there's a lot of things that, that potentially could be put on him. And it will... Uh, it's not as straightforward as some other units, right? So we definitely have to test things out. So Sharp Eyes itself would take away MP from his from him. And you know that he needs MP to cast his skills, or rather to maximize his damage to a certain extent, right? He gets more damage and gets more damage cap if he's using MP instead of SCT to use his skills. So in some sense, you would uh, also want Goddess Kiss on him. If not, he wouldn't be able to sort of sustain his MP that well, right? Uh... Okay, if you're not using Sharp Eyes at all, I think that sustaining MP would be okay if it's not very, very long fights, given he has advanced uh, magic circles. But then again, if you are fighting like very, very long fights, then you probably need Goddess Kiss as usual with other units. And if that's the case, Sharp Eyes is also is going to be something that you have to juggle with. Yeah? Okay, so I'll still run Sharp Eyes unless you can come up with a 50% more damage from other skills to make up for not running it. Of course not. Of course not. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> Sharp Eyes is literally one of the best, um, uh, what do you call, uh, physical damage skills out there. And uh, I mean, a very good way of actually using MP from your, you know, from your physical damage dealers because you usually don't really need MP from your physical damage dealers. But, um, but right now, because of what do you call? Because of how Edward or rather um, these alchemy brothers are, they do have in some sense skills that uses MP. So uh, it, it does complicate things a little bit. But of course, we're going to see how that actually works out when the units actually come out. Okay, so we are done with that. So now we are on to Alphonse Elric. Let's take a look at how Alphonse is. Okay. He is not just a tin can. Okay, this won't... That won't do it! Wow, okay. So it's like a Kung Fu-ish attack that he jumps on the enemy and does a three... A very slow-ass... Three hits on the enemy. All right, all right. This is his first skill. Uh, by the way, it's a neutral element unit. Uh, I'll protect you. This is a very, very cool skill. I like the animation. Look at that. Everybody is turned into a huge block of wood. That is very, very cute. Uh, I like it. I like it. I like it. And uh, and and the thing is that look at the, look at the cube, right? Okay, you're gonna see it again. The the cube is very high. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing that the cube is standardized for every unit. So basically, like, Loxaeus is very, very tall, right? So it's it's probably done so tall because of Loxaeus. And uh, I worry in the future, if, if let's say, any units happen to have a very huge model, uh, I mean, further later on in the game, right? Like, if, if um, they create a unit that's a very, very huge model, and then this might, this might just cut off the unit because this is definitely um, fixated in terms of the in terms of the dimensions. Uh, this is the the I'll protect you. I'll protect myself or whatever it is. So it, it does uh, protection on his all allies. So later on, we're gonna see what the skill does, but it's pretty cool. So third skill, you're not ready. Okay, this is also pretty good. Um, he he sticks out his wooden I mean his wooden um what do you call uh what is that thing? A uh, wooden He sticks out his wood, right, and uh shoots it at his enemy. Okay, and you can see let me you can see it again. You have to see it again. Okay, you have to see it again. Alright, he shoots it out. Oh my god, that's a huge ass um Alright. And then does a lot of that a lot of hits along the way so it's a frontal hit i believe that it's only you know as thick as his wood goes 
So it's not like a full screen or whatever, but it's a, definitely a, across the screen, uh, hits everything across the screen. I'll never forgive you. Okay. It's his ultimate. It's very, very nice animation, as I can see. Ooh. Wow, okay, okay, okay. Nice animation with a buff. Okay. So Alphonse. Okay, his traits. Empty armor body. Whenever using a skill, defense plus 2%, maximum plus 30%. So this does not say refresh every wave. So I'm guessing it stacks all the way. Which is very nice. It means that in 15 skills time, he's gonna get a maximum of plus 30% defense so as defense rises physical attack power also rises not sure what is the uh what do you call the the ratio over there i'm guessing i'm guessing it's the ones to one so mean to say um okay sorry will it be a ones to one as defense rises physical attack power also rises It might be a 50%. So it might be like if it's if his defense is 3k and he will add a thousand five to his SCR. When using a skill defense as defense rises, physical attack power rises. So physical attack power rises. So it doesn't say SCR rises. So it's actually a modifier on his um, physical attack, which means that it's something like a Taumaturgy ring. Like a Taumaturgy. So if his defense is 3k and it gives a 30% or 20% of that 3k, it will be modified into his skill. Or rather physical attacks. So physical attacks will mean uh, his, his basic attacks and also his skills. So um, that is what I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's a 20 to 30%. I would say 20%. I would say 20%. Alright, so moving on, uh, that's for empty armor body. Number two, I'll defend you all. So more likely to be targeted by enemies, so it's a you know a decent tankish uh, skill. Battle start, apply a barrier to all allies that nullifies one basic status element. Apply auto revive to one female unit. Oof, this guy doesn't like his brother, I'm telling you. You, maybe we get a mimicry female in the in the future, right? Like we can turn a male into a female. I don't know. But at this point of time, he doesn't like his brother because if you're going to use him together, the brother or even Roy, they are not going to get any love. He he just literally lied about I'll defend you all. Okay, maybe he did not lie because, because uh, he gets overall targeted by all, uh, like more likely to be targeted by enemies, which is, which is true. And uh, he get he gives barriers to all allies, which is also true, and nullifies one basic status ailment. It's just the last part whereby the auto revive only goes to a female unit, which is a little bit of, a little bit sus. But um, I mean, yeah, possibly can make good use of it. So what this can do in arena is actually SM Theria would be uh, the prime target to be revived. So I would say that potentially this deal can be the new meta in the arena. So right now, people are like focusing a lot on uh, Sorceress, which is basically on SM Theria, for example, right? They are all focusing on SM Theria and uh, using uh, Spell Render to uh, bash down Sorceress easily, uh, which, which, with, with much more ease in that sense. So if you are going to be using Alphonse Elric, then he will potentially be able to make it a little bit harder for the enemies, right? So having barriers and also nullifying basic, basic okay, the basic status statement is probably not going to be that important. But um, the key point would be that auto revive. So that would be interesting. So he will defend all, he won't revive all. True, true. That, that makes sense. I mean, I read that wrong then. Okay, so... Uh, looking at his skills, medium combo attack with his S1, grant all allies a minus 30% physical damage taken effect. This is actually really nice. It's similar to what um, 
uh, what do you call uh, SM Terrier has with the S2 but this is actually uh, I think a higher percentage 30% if I'm not wrong is higher than, than, than SM Terriers so this can really make him useful in arena so you're not ready front wide area medium combo attack I'll never forgive you okay powerful combo to end and recover 15 seconds of SCT okay 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 nothing too uh, crazy over there he is like a um, a, a tanky a tanky damage dealer but I'm not so sure how much uh, whether he will be how good he will be as a damage dealer Ruto is definitely not a good damage dealer in that sense but um, not sure whether he will do better than than Ruto probably probably so a, a lot more skills that is on the offense than Ruto okay so moving on to looking at his passive he also has alchemy he has melee master recovers 10 seconds of SCT tries to counter so he has counter I don't like counters on tanky units because he will break his guard so that's one thing that I do not like but then again a lot of people are actually uh, you know people in arena can actually use uh, a formation to break guards more easier so you know in some sense maybe you don't want to play guard on him but uh, I usually feel more safe when a, uh, when a tank actually has guard because it does increase the survivability by a lot and it, it, it does a lot of uh, a lot of shit when a guard actually procs right if you if you build him like pure guard uh, ish so uh, I don't really like counter but if that's the case you know probably you can build him as a uh, a tank without using guard probably there's a more offensive tank so with counter and with that de with dealing damage and, and stuff like that instead of just guarding and just soaking in damage maybe that's the way or that could be a way to play him so let's move on to a, a special shield don't really like that skill uh maze el el curhers tree break value plus 50 percent okay damage taken from bosses minus 10 percent okay okay this with this it still doesn't really make him a, a breaker though so all is one all is the world okay very 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 long names you know and a lot of exclamation marks in in, in all their skills when unit is alive gradually increase defense of all allies excluding unit what come on who's the tank here excluding the unit okay max 18 percent that's a weird number resets each wave and or when the unit is incapacitated so basically he will make your your units or your teammates tankier okay i, I mean i kind of get that in some sense he himself is already tanky ish uh for damage dealers in particular it the the defense increase is not really that big of a deal unless unless you are playing Ruto, S Kyle, Elric and SM Terrier. If you are playing this four units and then you are using Elric inside, I I feel that that could be a team, okay? That could be a defense team that is that is cancer all right um I, I i have not thought who will be using the magic over there probably ruto ruto is definitely a magic caster over there but then again um you know without a mage i, I still feel very naked without a mage but then again this might work you know what i'm saying like elric being able to buff uh, all allies and making them tankier and he himself is also tanky and he himself can deal some damage and he himself okay I, i'm not done with him by the way so i'm just um you know saying things right now uh from before i forget right but but we might even see crazier things later on that that proves or this pro this proves my my theory right now but what i'm saying right now is that he he potentially can be a uh you can build a tanky team all around that and and given that whole team right is only one female right so making making Alphonse to particularly or specifically able to resurrect SM Terrier if she's the only one that's targeted by right she should be the only one that's targeted because um, who's gonna target three tanks right you gotta get rid of the healer first 
Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, if you guys are not gonna do it, I'm not saying that you guys should do it, but I'm definitely gonna try it. Okay, I'm definitely gonna try it. Okay, let's carry on. The portal of truth, continuous haze, and uh, advanced magic circle. In fact, is the sim similar to what uh Edward Edward already has. Blood seal, special damage taken from enemies. Wait, special damage taken from enemies twenty five percent. Wait, does it take more special? Da Wait, that doesn't make sense. S special shield minus ten percent from enemies, and then special damage taken from enemies twenty five percent. What the fuck is this? Right, Spirit Breath, very nice, already there for your arena team. Armor Boost, okay, you're definitely not gonna do away with him. Skill Charge 2 makes him uh, already, you know, it's like a Ruto Skill Charge 2. Oof. Hit Bash makes him easier to uh, faint enemies. Um, breaker, uh, okay, Shock Wave, Breaking Guards. Uh, what do you call physical damage healing high counter royal armor resolve up three which gives him a defense bless speed patience two more defense more defense high armor boost more defense but then it's um, usually against bosses no attribute attack race no attribute shield which makes him good against baran decoy and break boost okay interesting so he's um from from the top here you don't really see about too much tankiness about him. But when you look here, a lot of the tankiness actually comes from here. Right? You're gonna see that a lot of things actually bust in defense and um and really really makes him very built and skilled towards um tanking. So Okay, here's the deal, guys. Here's the deal. He is gonna be a guy that you are most likely gonna prioritize skill to. Okay? He not only is able to cast spells, like cast skills, like using his SCT, he's also able to do them with using his MP. So what happens, I'm not sure how the AI will be using him. Will the AI be spamming the skill? Because it, because every time he's going to have MP, right? Whenever he's going to have MP and not have SCT, is he going to spam the skill? It is, I mean, it's very important to know how the AI actually works in the arena, right? Like for this particular situation. Because if let's say... Uh, Alphonse is going to have 200 MP and has 0 uh, SCT for S2. Does he perpetually spam his uh, S2 like not doing anything else, just spamming S2 because he has that MP? That is going to be pretty shit gameplay. And if that's the case, then he is a trash unit. But if that is not, right? Like, I mean, they have to work out how to use him. So, in some sense, prioritizing skill 2 will allow you to spam or rather be keeping... S2 up most of the time and if that's the case right it's gonna be pretty OP because um, you're gonna perpetually you know most likely most likely perpetually gonna have this skill uh, active okay and having this skill active is already gonna make your unit survive by a huge amount minus 30% physical damage taken is no joke right and uh, especially in arena so because and also because he he can use MP to cast this skill, that is the main reason why this can be perpetually cast. And it will be very, very, very scary. They will likely spam even if it does nothing. Using a uh, deck in arena, telling her to prioritize S2, she will use it as soon as it's up, even if no enemies are near her. Well, true, true, true. But then again, it is an offensive skill, you know what I'm saying? Because if it's a buff, right? Like, for example, if you look at Lina or any other unit with a heal, right? Like, for example, Thunderbolt Savia, she doesn't cast her S3 because her S3 has a heal. Until your unit actually needs a heal, then she will cast her S3. So... I'm not sure whether this can be, you know, worked in that way, whereby 
um, whereby the unit will cast it only when somebody in the team doesn't have that debuff, you know, the, that buff, you know what I'm saying? Like, if that's the case, then it will be a good situation. Because if, let's say, all your units already have that buff, then he will not be casting it. But until the buff falls off, and then he will cast it again. So that is, that is definitely doable. He seems mad, really? I mean, okay, he honestly speaking, he seems mad, that's true. But when I was saying about the arena team, right, like, I just feel that that's pretty dope. I just think that that would be pretty dope. Like, she agrees. Look at her. Look at her. Totally agrees, man. Like, she has her eyes closed. She has her mouth pouted. And then, you know, like, the smile. And the fingers pointing at each other, you know. That's like, shyly agreeing to what I'm saying. But then again, let's move on, okay? Let's move on. Let's not, let's not, um... I sort of drag on this for too long. But she definitely looks, you know, happy about the, what I just said. Okay, so we have already gone skill, our attribute. So machine equipped. So when you equip a machine, right, the unit will get a skill damage plus 25%. Okay, it's like a, a what do you call, Phoenix Blow, in some sense, right, 25% skill damage, continuous fort effect, okay, uh, defensive wise, it's, uh, it's okay, when, a, when an ally is inflicted with a basic status ailment, remove the status ailment and add plus 1 to basic status ailment resistance for a set time, so once a wave. So when an ally is inflicted, so this actually only, if I'm not wrong, uh, does it only once and and it's not once per ally it's just once right so when that happens it gives an additional plus one to that ailment that was removed in this way okay um, honestly honestly it's like a better phoenix blow and the better I mean it has a fort effect and the one that it actually removes a basic status ailment, it is a, a good bonus, but it's nowhere near, what do you call, consistent. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, like removing one doesn't really save you, doesn't really save you that much. Um, it, it can in the in the arena, it can, but if you're gonna fight against a V that can inflict multiple status ailments, I don't think that it will be um, naturally effective. This music though, do you like it, GB Miser? Do you like the music though? Okay, so um. So skill-wise, it's a better Phoenix Blow for me, okay, but I believe that the, bad, the, the the main thing about this arc is in the learnable skills. So we're gonna take a look at the first learnable skill that is new, Repair and Enhancement. So remove STR debuffs from an ally and grant a STR 30% buff. So remove any debuffs and grant a 30% buff. So excluding certain special debuffs. So um, this is gonna be like an in-between between the Grand Brave and a normal brave, right? So it's thirty percent, and also removes away uh, STR debuff. So I think that is it could be um, a decent skill, but I don't think that it will remove the ability or the usage of Grand Brave, though. I think that Grand Brave will still be like stat wise is still gonna be better. Okay, auto mail equipped. So add machine type to unit. Physical attack damage plus 10%, physical damage that take up minus 10%. So this is actually a pretty decent skill, I like it, right? Because it it, it allows you to uh, further increase your damage and also at the same time reducing damage taken. So this will probably be uh, a pretty decent skill. I would say that it 
it might cost about 5 SC, which is not too expensive. If it's actually more than 5 SC, let me think. 5 to 6 SC. Alright, so 5 to 6 SC is what I guess this skill would be. Um, any more than that is actually too expensive. Right, adding a machine type to unit is not exactly a very good thing. Right, adding a type is a hit and miss. But adding a machine type, not exactly a, 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 a very good thing in that sense, to, to me at least. But of course, uh, at that sort of disadvantage, you get additional physical da damage plus 10% and uh, damage taken minus 10%. Not a very, very significant amount, 10%, um, not that big of a deal. But it's still, uh, still going to be skills that will add on to your damage so i'm guessing it's it's 5 sc okay so winry's apple pie this is uh, what everybody is hyped about okay everybody wants winry's apple pie right now it's hot stuff it's gonna go out in go up in cost or it's gonna be expensive uh consume all mp to cure all basic status ailments restore all sc sct stocks and grant high regeneration so this is like an upgraded version of honey elixir it not only gives you SCT it also removes basic status ailments and also grant high regeneration this is a very very good skill very very good skill I would say that it might cost a little bit more MP than honey elixir but it's definitely definitely worth it in that sense um, uh, given that it removes all ailments, ailments, meaning to say, your unit from like if, if it's you can use it to break out of CC, right, and at the same time get all these other buffs uh, to to dump on the opponent. You know what I'm saying? So it's actually a very very good skill. However, however, if the unit that you are using it on is the unit himself right like if let's say you're using a Luxeus and you have Winry's apple pie on Luxeus himself but he gets CC okay that is where your problem comes if he gets stunned then your problem will be a problem okay but if it's on another unit that is gonna cast on your Luxeus then it there, there wouldn't be an issue of um, being afraid that they might get CC instead so the the CC actually um, will work if you're casting on other on someone else right or okay if it's if it's for example a, a, a illness and stuff like that you know that is not um, incapac incapacitating you or stunning you for that matter then it will not be a problem right so it will be a good thing and Luxeus is actually very very resistant in terms of basic status ailments so you probably wouldn't need to bother or care too much on that the problem becomes a problem. <laughs> I didn't hear people using the upgraded Lina as a as a oh yeah 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 Lina is definitely a very very good mana battery. Okay, haven't tried myself. Yeah, Lina is a very good mana battery because of S2. Okay, her S2 is actually a very good mana um, regenerating skill. And and if she keeps healing, she keeps using S2, she, she, she just goes on to do a chain, you know? I've seen people done that before and I've tried it myself. It's, it's kind of funny, but um, it works. Alright, so Lina, Simon, Lina, you hear that? Okay, so Winry's Apple Pie, a uh, very, very good skill. It uh, I'm not sure about what amount of MP is going to cost. It might cost... It, I, I feel that it's definitely more than 200 MP which can be a bit costly but if you if you have Goddess Kiss on your unit and you're able to like sustain it then it is something that is going to be pretty meta in terms of how people are going to be clearing uh, PvE stuff like, like quickly right if people are going to clear PvE stuff quickly they are definitely going to be using Honey Elixirs they're going to be using Winry's Apple Pie okay so if you're not going to if you don't have a honey elixir, right? If you don't have honey, get an apple pie. Okay, so it's either honey or an apple pie. Get one of them. If you can't get honey, if you don't have honey, then apple pie is the one that you have to go. This period was such a good time to reroll Luxeus, that banner for tickets, so you can get SM Terrier and uh, Mechanical Meredi, and not a chance for an alt to honey elixir skill. True, true, you, you definitely can get. Um, 
all these very very OP units at the same time prepare yourself for um for the collaboration and also get this uh honey elixir skill right so yeah yeah you're, you're definitely right there gb miser you are spot on so if anybody who like wants to be playing this game get your friends or get your parents or get your <laughs> your um classmates or get your colleagues I don't know whichever it is get your girlfriend or your girlfriends to download this game and start this game right now